This video covers the fourth and fifth adjusting entry on the list plus a special case. The fourth one is accrued revenues. That is when we have earned the revenue but we have not yet collected the money for it. The entry might read, perform services, $1,200, that has not yet been billed to customers. So on January 31st, we must record that we have earned this revenue. That is the whole basis of accrual accounting. So we will debit accounts receivable indicating that our customers will pay us later and we will credit service revenue. The fifth type is to adjust for unearned revenue. We dealt with this a little bit in Chapter 2 where we have an entry that says a client paid for services not performed yet. That is considered unearned revenue. If the services were $700 that we performed, our T account would report a credit to unearned revenue for $700. So what we will do is on January 31st, it says we completed $500 of the work for that January 15th job. We will make an adjusting entry for the amount of revenue that has now been earned. According to that transaction, we have now earned $500 of the revenue from January 15th. So our T account will now have a debit to unearned revenue, and so our balance in unearned revenue at the end of the month is $200. There's still $200 worth of the work from January 15th we have still not completed. Our service revenue now has $500. That's the amount of revenue we have earned. So unearned revenue adjusting entry on the 31st or at the end of the period will adjust for the amount of revenue we have now earned. The special case I was talking about is when we adjust for supplies. We've done an original entry for supplies in Chapter 2 where we debit supplies and credit cash or accounts payable for the amount of supplies we purchased. At the end of each month, we will expense our supplies for the amount of supplies we've used. We're not going to expense these as we use them up because that would be just not very efficient to make a journal entry every time someone uses a box of staples or paper clips or a ream of paper or anything like that. So we wait till the end of the month and we take account. So what our T account will look like, if we had an original entry where we bought $500 in supplies indicated by the 1-1, one, one, January 1st, $500, and I put that's what we had. On January 1st, we had $500 worth of supplies. We did a count at the end of the month, and now we have $150 in supplies. So that means our supplies account has a $150 balance. How did we get from $500 to $150? We reduced the supplies account. So over on the credit side, I have circled in green $350. That is the amount of supplies that we have used, and that is what we have to adjust for. So you will debit supplies expense and credit supplies for the amount of supplies you used during the period. So you really have to read the transaction to see what it's giving you. It may give you the amount you used. If it didn't, it may tell you the amount of supplies you still have on hand. And if it tells you that, you have to use a T account to calculate the amount of supplies used so you know what to put in the entry. That concludes our types of adjusting entries. If you have any questions, let me know.